All right, we're going to go ahead and spray this uh, flute and totem, and uh, we'll put the first coat of lacquer on it. Uh, Well, that really looks good. You can see some of the character of that wood starting to come out already. It's really beautiful. All right, we'll let that sit. Two more coats, three coats total on here, and uh, then we'll be done. Hi, it's Sid with Old Blue Flutes, and this is our final stage here. Uh, we've gone through the whole process of making the flutes, and uh, I bring them here to my wife, Chris, as she's the partner in this business and she does the decorating of the flutes. So I'm going to turn the time over to her and she'll show you that process that she goes through uh, to decorate these flutes for us. So when he comes back from the shop and he brings me the completed ones, this one here is our Eastern Red Cedar. Uh, just a gorgeous piece of wood. Um, what I do is got all my supplies here different colors of hemp that we use and I just see what color goes with the wood and on this one it was a tough call but we decided the burgundy looked good then from there we choose feathers and I get my feathers from people that uh, gather them cruelty free and what that is is they come from either aviaries or bird farms but from the natural molting process. So no birds are harmed. They just pick the feathers up off the ground, clean them, sterilize them, and, and then sell them. So we've got all kinds here. So I won't show you how I do this because it's a tedious process, but we start with the beads. And this one here is a pheasant feather with um, garnets and lava rock. And there will be two of them. So this guy here, he hasn't been dressed completely yet. They'll end up getting joined together and attached. And then the hemp, we put it between where the totem and, and everything goes and then where the holes begin. And it just goes in this section in here. And sometimes if a flute has uh, just a really striking grain to it or you know some really great knots, some real good character to it, we'll leave it what we call unadorned because it's just too pretty to put anything else on it. It doesn't need any blend. We try to make the decorations on the flutes as unique as uh, the flutes themselves. So there won't be any two alike. Okay, okay we've reached the part where we're ready to wrap the flute. Uh, we've chosen burgundy hemp for this because of the red cedar color. And I finished the beads and feathers, so they're ready to go on because they're the last Thing that you put on before you tie off the hemp. All right, I'm going to take a short break to finish this off and then come back and show you a finished product. Okay. Okay, we're back with the finished product. We've got the beads and the feathers attached. Again, this is uh, garnets with lava rock. And uh, we've got the hemp on there. We've got the totem. This is our baby bird. And uh, Bud is up here helping. He's always in the middle of things, laying on the beads, on the feathers. He's in charge of them. So we wanted you to meet Bud. And um, this is our new red cedar flute. All right. Very nice. Uh, we appreciate you uh, here at Old Blue Flute that you would uh, take the time to watch our video. If you could, please, below, hit the thumbs up 
And then also please hit the subscribe if you're interested. We're going to be doing some more videos and uh, we'd like you to be a part of our family. Thanks so much.